So you guys are traveling down the road. You've mm-hmm. left the lake you were at, and you spend a good portion of the day traveling. And come like midday, a thick fog rolls in. You guys are still kind of near water. Um, but, but the fog rolls in and it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And then Soon enough, uh, Victus and Morgan, you guys are next to each other. Hello, in transit. Whistler. Who? Right, Whistler. Um, <laughs> what? I said this in crisis. Uh, Vic, Victus and Whistler are. You guys are next to each other. Okay. Um, and you're still continuing on down the road. Are you on a horse? Um, I guess I must have borrowed a horse from somebody. <laughs> You could have brought my extra horse. I guess. All right, so I'm on your extra horse. <laughs> Atlas keeps loaning out mounts for his adventures. <laughs> Thanks, Atlas. <clears throat> That's um, quite a bit of fog. It's good to get some fresh air, even when it's thick. Hey, Griff, take on. I'm watching. You have been spending quite a bit of time inside the caravan. <laughs> well, I mean... And there's forging going on in there, and, and alchemy. <laughs> The al- yeah, the forging's not too big of a deal. It's the alchemy that's the real problem. Dr. Hippocampus has decided that he's going to try um, blowing up the potion to fix it, and that doesn't appear to be working very well. So. <laughs> we get it, you vape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm spending some time. In fact, all of this fog might just be him. Fantastic. <laughs> Getting some sick clouds. I'm making some cloud kill. <laughs> can you I'm trying pers- to make bear smoke sticks? Yeah, can I do a perception check on the fog? Is it natural? Yeah. And do I see anything? Oh, not great. Um, nine. Um, as far as you can tell, it's just fog. It's just very dense fog. Um, how far ahead can we see? You can't see very far ahead of you at all. In fact, even looking towards Victus, you have a hard time seeing him. Um, and you can only... Uh, you, you just see the fog and you can smell like a, a faint, smoky smell. Kind of like something... Not sulfury, though? Smoky? Yeah, just smoky. <coughs> I can't fire. I will slow my horse so that I'm not going to run into something. You know, kill her. one thing I've been trying is... Uh, I realized I never actually used to put in a, a butterfly knife before, so I'm practicing. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> roll for it. <laughs> Slate of hand. Ooh, that's, that's good. good. Oh, I think I'm impressed because you're doing this while riding a horse. Yeah, uh, that's a thirty. So you probably four. adeptly whip out a butterfly knife. <laughs> <laughs> is it cutting the fog, like making a little trail? Never done yeah, that, that like, before. So the, the, the fog is like trailing behind the blade, spinning it on a finger. Throwing it into the air, catching it with the backhand, throwing it at a tree, and then teleporting it back into my hand. Jeez. Oh, you made it up. Alright, so is this the kind of fog that... Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Just want to feel. <laughs> if I'd, ra- I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. <laughs> I'm concerned. It's like young Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein. <coughs> it's Frankenstein. Uh, Igor. Um, have you injured yourself? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is this the kind of fog where light makes it worth worse? Like it reflects, reflects. I suddenly I've lost the ability to talk. <laughs> Refracting? Back at me. <laughs> you can try. Okay, so I'm going to do my um, uh, ever burning lantern that has the um, I can I can oh, has a shutter thing. Um, so I'm going to open. Lantern. Yes, it's hooded. I'm going to open it a smidge and okay. see if it like shines back at me or if it cuts through. Okay. Um, so it it doesn't cut through the fog. It's mm. it's the the light. The glow of the light is kind of only in the area, brightening up where Victus is, but that's about it. Okay. This is tough to travel through. Yeah. Can you hear the caravan? Did we lose it? We're... I'm going to listen for the caravan. <laughs> Are we bring it to the caravan? <laughs> 20. I thought that was a baby with its head up the ass. <laughs> <of the chicken. laughs> um, you don't hear the caravan at all. Oh. Victus, I don't hear the caravan. What are you talking about? It's right... 
I'm going to do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Down the vent. <laughs> 28. You don't hear the caravan at all either. Fuck. I, I'm going to yell out. <clears throat> so you yell out and you're... Is Atlas able to scry on them? No. <laughs> I cast ghost sound. And it's me well, yelling. Actually, you probably would be able to, but it was hey guys, with forty voices, with right? the sound of okay. fifty voices. <laughs> 50 voices. <laughs> no, make it's sure he knows that. Eight. It's eight times ten, eighty voices. Ghost ah. voice, eighty voices. Okay, divided by two, so forty. So you were right in the first. <laughs> Dang it, because I paid attention. <laughs> uh, the, the sound echoes off, but you get no reply. So you hear it echoing, kind of dully. Oh. But I don't like this. Nothing replies back to you. I've got bad news. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I don't think that we're in the same dimension. What? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Like, if we were standing, if we were riding next to that uh, caravan, they'd be able to hear us. Yeah, wait, I detect evil all around me. See if I can find havoc. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, it's a cone. Oh, <laughs> She just spins. <laughs> Do I sense anything around me? Uh, no. Oh. You, no evil around you in the um, cone. Uh, can, can I look at my feet? Am I still on a path? Like, is it Yeah, rocky is our horses and... moving? Yep. And you... Are our horses moving? Is, is our horses walking in... Walking in the... The, the, the way we want to go forward. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and actually, you notice that the dirt path has suddenly turned to cobblestone. Mm. No, that's interesting. Oh, horse, I really slow down. I don't want to hit a building. My horse isn't real, but is your horse taking this well? My horse isn't real either. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we were riding on goddamn automatons into the end of the world. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, well, I summon my horse into existence. I think it's a real Does it horse, have a personality? Though. Yeah. This one doesn't. <laughs> my, my horse actually, yeah, can communicate with me. I mean, it could if Atlas gave it one, but I think he purposely did not. Okay, interesting. Uh, what, a mind? I'm just working on that. <laughs> just don't, don't have a mind. Okay. Um, I think it's just a faithful now. Oh, okay. That's all I have I got. I don't have a lot, so I'm just gonna do knowledge religion and be like, do I have I ever read about descending fogs of religious origin? Well, you think I'm going to try something that sometimes works for me? Sure. I pull out a knife and just start fucking whipping it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Does it hit anything? Which way do you whip it? Like right forward. Oh god. No. no. All right. I teleport it back. <laughs> <laughs> to the left. <laughs> Oh my eyes! <laughs> uh, no. no, but you can both you can both make um, perception checks. Right. Sure. Oh my word! Thirty-two. I rolled a natural one, but together it's a six. I just want to so, let you know. 32. So Whistler doesn't. I can be her anything. eyes and ears. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, but Excuse Victus, me. Victus. I am twice Sorry, your weight, I can't bud. assume your gender. <laughs> notices something familiar. Uh-oh. I noticed something familiar. It's the it's, it's a smell. It's that smelly smell that smells. It's, it's the smell of burning buildings. Mm. Aww. Can you determine the direction? Are you Is your nose that good? I am an elf. <laughs> I can smell with my elf nose. I am not an elf. <laughs> my what senses are What direction dull. does it seem to be coming from? Kind of all around you. Oh, great. Is there a breeze? Is there a breeze? Not at the moment. Oh, man. All right, wait. My soldier training has prepared me for this. It's, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, in our world, there's not submarines, but the fakers. <laughs> <laughs> any, any sentence that is prefaced by that. <laughs> you know, that's a statement that I don't totally understand what that means. And I support wholeheartedly. Wait, the sandwich? <laughs> so... If, if if something is moving out, at, at, like like moving away from us, if we move out in wider and wider circles, we'll eventually hit it. So whatever this is coming from, whatever direction, 
uh, if we if we rotate from this position in larger and larger circles, we'll find what's producing the, the smoke. That seems like the logical thing to do. <laughs> but the one thing I've learned about magic bullshit is that logic doesn't really matter. We should probably just keep walking in the same direction, and whatever it will get us to, it'll get us there. I like your idea, though. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, man, if only I had a familiar I could just send around me. Hmm. But you guys are going to keep walking. Uh, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I pull out my I, knife. You're going to keep throwing it into <laughs> <No>. shit. <laughs> I turn it into a... A wind. What? What are the wind? Barom? Not a barometer. An anemometer. An anemometer. Hmm. Hold it up into the air. I, I use those to teach. <laughs> I don't know if we can make an anemometer. <laughs> <laughs> you make thing? a. It's like a lot of. What's the? Oh, pinwheel. 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 All right. I hold up the pinwheel. <laughs> <laughs> now, I actually would like to still do my idea. I'm gonna get off my horse. Get on Victus's horse and using. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! It's okay. Getting real close. I'm, I'm like... not going to put my hands around your waist. I'm going <laughs> to use my my what's called link. My horse reads my mind, and my horse is going to do the circle thing as we move forward. So we're that thing that my horse keeps hitting as it finishes the circle. So it, it hits us every once in a while and relays its information if it's seen anything around us. So the horse is like walking off to the left or the right? Uh, so so it's making it's wider, wider spirals. circles. Yeah, and if we move forward, it's going to keep hitting us as it does wider circles. It's moving at a faster pace than okay. we are. You follow? Yeah. Science. At a certain point, we're going to hit a radius in which the horse is going to be at the full gallop. That's well, after I'm, about two I'm rotations, the horse... <laughs> Uh, hits an obstacle. Oh. Great. So, What's the obstacle? <laughs> it can, it can, it can send it to my brain. Let's Are hear we it. the obstacle? <laughs> no. Uh, it sees. It's it's like a, a a building. From what I can see, it's a building. What? The horse died. <laughs> it got <kept> building full. <laughs> it was PUBG. It hadn't rendered yet. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out that building. Uh, the horse communicates the direction the that we that? need to walk. Okay. So you, we you, meet up with my horse. <laughs> uh, is the building on fire? You guys get there, and um, from what you can see, the, this building is definitely, at one point, was on fire. It's kind of smoky, but um, it's not actively on fire right With a now. flip, I jump off the horse. I'm going to get down slowly and cumbersomely with okay, my armor. Okay, Yeah, that's a 36. <laughs> <clears throat> this is not my war trained horse, so I kind of slide <laughs> off. <laughs> and I saddle on up to the building and take a look at it. Okay. Um, so, what you can see is. So, it looks kind of burnt out. Does that make sense? Looks like really burnt out. Like mm -hmm. probably like, you think if you were to go into it, it would probably cave in on itself. Okay. So like um, Mulan scene when they come across the village and it's decimated. That one's more burnt out. Okay. Than Mulan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's like those aren't buildings anymore. Yeah, that's like wood just hanging about. Okay, I poke my head in through the window to see if I can see anything inside. Okay, on the inside you just see. Um, kind of charred remains of the inside of a building. There's a burnt table, burnt bookshelves. Detect stuff. evil. When in doubt. Do shit around and no no evil. Do okay. you have a limited number of those? I don't know. Like, no, it's at will. Uh, unless I'm in battle and then I have to concentrate. Okay. It's, it takes longer in battle, but you don't run out. Yeah. Um, That's why I just throw as, around. As you turn around, you kind of feel a breeze pick up. Oh. Atlas? Is that you? That old wind is Atlas. Um. <laughs> Sometimes wind is just Hashtag wind. not all wind. Uh, and, and the fog kind of dissipates around you. Oh. Um, and you can see that you're in a larger village. And most of the buildings appear to be the same. They're all kind of burnt out. And Feels like we're in somebody's dream. All right, I'm going to... Um go systematically one by one and see if I can see anyone in any of these buildings. Okay. I follow as well. Okay. You you take the left side, I'll take the right? <laughs> sure. So you go door to door. I'll be in Dublin before you. <laughs> uh, kind of 
making your way down this road that you're on, mm-hmm. looking in the houses. Each house looks empty um, as you go through it until you get to with of course. the end of the street. There's like a village square kind mm-hmm. of. Everything mm-hmm. still kind of looks fucked up. Um, but you can see that there's one house kind of up the hill on top of a hill that looks like it was untouched by flame. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, Victus, in case your dream theory is right, I'm going to pinch you because I'm covered in armor. Do you feel that? I do. Okay. I Does do. he feel it? Okay. <laughs> it's real. It's all real. Well. Where is everyone? If we're in somebody's dream, I didn't necessarily mean one of ours. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I haven't left Porto Nova much, so... I would definitely wouldn't dream of villages. Neither would I. Well, Port Nova's burned down like a lot. <laughs> True. So <it's> <laughs> Fair so enough. Often, and so often. also Anguish. Anguish. It ends up that maybe we should stop making our structures out of wood. Maybe we should just stop going to villages. <laughs> we should just make things out of stone. All right. So, what does this one building that's not burned down look like? Is it like churchy or town hally? Or... Kind of like town hally, mansiony, hmm. big steeple, kind of like. All right. Is mm-hmm. it pristinely mm-hmm. untouched or just like the fire didn't reach it? From your distance, it looks like the fire didn't reach it. Let's okay. approach the building. Let's Getting closer to it, you can see that it's kind of run down. <laughs> like an anime character. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, one step <laughs> I'm not just tired, I'm super tired. <laughs> um, Crazy hair. Yeah, so as you get closer to it, you can kind of see that it's, like, run down. Okay. It looks uninhabited. I sneak up to the front door and whip on my uh, x-ray goggles, x-ray specs. Okay, so you're, like, so there's, like, a stair set to the mm-hmm. front door. So you walk up the stair set? Yeah. Give me a stealth check. Oh, man. <clears throat> That's your forte, though. I'm in armor. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. It's a 31. Okay. Um... You're pretty sneaky, but as you get up to the door and you start pretty sneaky, putting sis. the glasses on, the, the front door kind of just <laughs> opens I, up. Uh, I, roll, go. I go prone <laughs> and like, <laughs> yeah, like move off to the side. <laughs> it's more like the fucking poltergeist. <laughs> He's the creepiest thing in here. <laughs> Who gave him those? <laughs> uh, I'm the nightmare. <laughs> Um, so I get I like yeah, get yeah. down real low. Uh, so you you, you kind of hit the ground prone, and you're like, uh, and you sit there for a couple of seconds, but nothing else seems to happen. Mm. You hear like a couple of gusts of wind. I whip on my X-ray specs and see what I can see. Okay, so inside you can see kind of a antiquated ballroom. Well, not ballroom, but like entrance way. Mm-hmm. Um, Antechamber. Sure. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word. Mud room. I don't know what do I call it? <laughs> Mud room. <laughs> It's like a nice entry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Foyer. 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 Atrium. <laughs> we get it. There's like some <laughs> columns, mm-hmm. some worn tapestries, but no nice. carpet. That's dirty. Uh, there's a door and another door. Two uh, doors. Pull off my glasses. Do you relay this information? We've got a foyer. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's no one in there? No. There is more. <laughs> Whip off my glasses. <laughs> Looks like this house. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an empty chamber. <laughs> there's nothing in there. Great. Um, is the doorway large enough to fit a horse through? <laughs> Probably not. My, sp- my Let's specialty leave the is horse. being on my horse. <laughs> Gotta Realistically, ask. that's something we do outside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just saying. All right, um, I can smoothly get off my horse because it, it's trained, so it's a, it does the thing with the leg, and I can step down. Um, but you, I make noise. <laughs> have you considered a pony? Look, my war horse is well trained and mentally connected I'm, with me. I am sure he is, but if you summon a pony, you could probably get into small uh, places. Dig a pony. And do the road high. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's a reference I didn't understand. All right, so um, since since I am not on my horse, I'm gonna pull out my shield and my lance. 
Because I, because I, <laughs> just, like, walking into this tight ass room with a fucking battle lance. Like, okay, all right. Oh, hold on. Lance, lance is a two handed weapon off of a horse. Oh, okay. Off of a horse. Why would I Am I? Lance one? You maybe like a sword or something? Or sure. I'll pull, pull out my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull out my pull long sword. Let me whip out my sword. Will you whip this thing out? Um, and I, I'm gonna kind of. Wonder Woman this when she tries to get through the swinging door. <laughs> These are odd, so oddly feminine Wonder actions Wonder and metaphors for a male Wait, what just happened? So, <laughs> so she's trained Wonder as a Woman. warrior. So the she? Way, Wonder Woman. Oh. So the way she goes through the, the swinging door is she rotates the, the sword to be up and in ready position, but it's not pointed out. That's what I'm trying oh, to get at here. Okay. That she's scene. battle stancing. Yeah. He's battle I'm walking so I'm, he is. without anything in my hands. <laughs> Open palmed. <laughs> Right, a bitch slap anything. Alright, do you go through before me because you're actually up there? I sure, I'll the stealthily sneak my way in. Like, turn around and go, shh. Alright, I'm gonna get out my oil. I do it. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell is doing that? Put my shoulder. Like, I'm gonna oil So, yeah. the, the problem with plate <laughs> armor is that it clacks, not oh, that clacks? it squeaks. Okay, I'm gonna move slow. Pres- presumably, you've been. You need to put rubber. Like, you, so, Victus is like. You put the armor on me. You know what it's like. <laughs> Victus, like, definitely, like. Does like the whole way her crawls. I'm gonna like, like, so you like, like so, flip onto my back. No, so it's like I'm gonna the, flip onto my so, back. Yeah, so you flip. <laughs> no, it's like a, it's like your genuine, your typical thief guy. So you're like, you're on the ground, and you like roll over, and then you like up to the doorway. Yeah. You're like, I don't even need to. Like, and I then and then she just, uh, he just kind of walks in like. <laughs> Hold on. Get <laughs> 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 out some WD forty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever takes out a, helps. A rag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm prepared for this. <laughs> Look, I had good intentions. All right, I, I, cast silence on me. I can't cast silence. <laughs> oh, can you, who can do that? All right, so if you both entered this, oh, I can't. You yep. both in? Yeah. Okay. The right, door's I, gonna close. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna tumble. I prop the door open with my. I hold, I hold my foot in the doorway. I'm really Let using all my 18s foot. on this. The 36 to tumble. <laughs> so you tumble in. Yeah, I tumble okay. in. You tumble in. Um, so you tumble in, you roll up, a bunch of dust flies in the air. <laughs> uh, but so far, nothing seems to happen. The, the house kind of creaks and groans from the The pressure. house is alive. Um, I've seen this movie. <laughs> uh, it's just old. I've seen that house. <laughs> There's a lot of those. In Porta Nova, the ones that aren't. All right, so there's only two doors. Houses that eat you? There's no. no stairs. I haven't heard of there's those. only a couple of those. <laughs> there's only like three of those, and they're on the soaks. Old houses. I take a look around to see if there's any signs of wear and tear, like and, if people have been using it. Yeah, and what do I see on the tapestries? Tapestries. They're just like worn out paintings. Do they depict humans, elves? Yep, humans. Humans. Uh, well, kind of a conglomerate. At one point, oh my god, <laughs> not a rape scene, but <laughs> no, I'm thinking more of like, uh, oh fuck, what's his name? It's a uh, whatever, where, where it's just like a bunch of bodies, massive bodies as like a creature. Oh, um, David Cronenberg esque monstrosity of elves and humans, <laughs> not absolved, conglomerate, but, but, um, yeah, no, you're talking about, um, no, okay. not that. So, you know, one of them is like, mm-hmm. and then the other one's like, hey, it's a dwarf emissary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak up to one of those tapestries. Okay. Check They're on the down. wall, like up in the ceiling. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. no. <laughs> <laughs> on the ceiling? You know, like on the, the yeah, side of the wall, I, okay. towards the ceiling. <laughs> Hanging gonna, on the wall, as you do. I look at Whistler and I say, if I know anything about anything, whatever's important is in this house, it's probably on the second floor. Well, I don't see any stairs, but I see two doors. That's a good point. Uh, door number <laughs> one or door number two? Let's Left or right? Right. Right it is. Okay. Door number one. Number two. I try number <laughs> one. Number one. Wait. <laughs> Before I go go through the door and put on my extra specs and take a look through. Number two. Uh, which one? The door on the right. The door on the right has stairs. I take... That which? lead down. Oh. Door on the left. <laughs> has stairs. That also lead down. Right. Oh, how strange. <laughs> I take off the glasses. We are on the second floor. <laughs> and we're on the second floor. All right. So I guess take the one on the right. But they both lead down? How odd. Maybe they have two basements. 
whoever designed this house, uh, they need to talk to me. <laughs> We're also in like a fucking dreamscape, so I'm not. You gonna think do, so? I'm not too worked up about architecture. <laughs> we still take door number right. Yeah, door, door number, number right. <laughs> okay, you got it. So you guys swing open the door. The door opens pretty okay. easily. Yeah. Does it swing in or towards us? I don't know. Whichever way makes sense. You open it. <laughs> okay. It's a double hinge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the door is up to code. It slides. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's a video game door. <laughs> it's a PUBG door. <laughs> Alright, so, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you to the count Backman of 10 to go down before me, because every stair, I'm going to clang. That's a good point. Alright, so I, I, I <laughs> subtly make my way down the stairs. Okay. I count upstairs like a kid in the, before hide and seek. One, So you guys two. walk down the stairs. <laughs> so I walk down the stairs. Yeah, mm-hmm. you both are walking down the stairs, right? Sure. I, I give him a 10 second head start, but then I head down. Okay. Um, so you guys get like halfway down the stairs and you hear the door okay. slam shut from the top. Why did you close it? It wasn't me. <laughs> you just hear this voice above you by 10 steps. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> All right. I continue my way down. Okay. I follow. So you guys continue down a uh, surprisingly long way. Is it dark? It is dark. Okay, I pull out. Can you see? Can I see? I can see, because I have Sam, dark can vision. can I see? I have low light, right? No, you're a human. Yeah, what do I have? Normal vision. No, I got normal, whatever that means. No. All right. You need a light source. So okay. I can see I can see pretty effectively. Okay. okay. I, I will I will bust out, not my lantern, because I, well, actually, if I if I do the, the, the thing with the, uh, will that be too much light? Probably. Yeah. For him, because you have low light, right? I have dark vision. Then that would ruin dark vision. That would ruin dark vision. Okay. I would be technically dazzled, but I'm always dazzled. Falls down the stairs. You're technically always dazzled. Yeah, but you're never dazzled. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. A lot of trust here, man. Sword and sheath. Shield on back. Hand on ever-burning torch. In bag. Hand on your shoulder as you guide me. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to pull it out if I need to see. If I drop or, like... Reach my hand back and tap you. Uh-huh. Draw your sword. Okay. I make my way down the stairs. <laughs> What's the signal to pull out my light? Uh, Pinch me. Uh, I just say light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you get to the bottom of the stairs, and you walk through a doorway. Great. And... I can't see a thing. <laughs> yeah, what do I see? <laughs> so in front of you, it's like a big shutter. And there's a door off to your right. I described this. Thank you. Okay. And uh, there's like two like relay switches. Oh god, I feel like I've seen you. this video game. <laughs> <laughs> Make the noise. What? What the good 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 chunk chunk Sounds a lot cool. like a crossbow. <laughs> um <laughs> They all tell the same noise. Yeah. So mm-hmm. are you both in this room? We are. Okay. So you hear the door slam shut behind you in a... All right. Pull like a... Uh, and then some flares light up. Oh, fantastic. Oh, all the way for that. <laughs> put, put the torch away. You all right? You dazzled? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, and I'm then to... you hear a voice in your mind brain. Oh, dang. My brain. And it says, you must decide. And the, the, the things, the, how do I describe them, grates, mm-hmm. they, they kind of rise up, and there's a divider, and in one, one side, you can see a room. Oh no! Freaking saw! I don't like this! <laughs> Are you sawing us right now? <laughs> <laughs> we can't! We're pistol! Some of us are. Some of us are. Some of us are. Some of us are. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't want it. And you see a, a feral werewolf. Okay. Clawing at the room. Better be Zool. Okay. okay. Werewolf in one. Better and then be Zool. The other room. <laughs> and in the other room, uh, you see a decaying zombie kind of standing there in the middle of the room. Uh, okay. What are we deciding? <laughs> you must decide. I want to be. I want to be sure about our, uh, our, like, what we're deciding here. Are we killing them? Are we letting them free? 
You can make a perception check. Are we feeding? Yeah, perception or check. By the way, I've got like massive props against no, dead stuff. Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering might work. <clears throat> uh, 20. Wait, wait, you perception? Mm -hmm. And then for Dungeoneering, I've got a 13. Okay, so perception-wise, you see that these two rooms seem like they got some shit going on in them. You, as a Dungeoneering, you're like, huh, this mechanism definitely does something in this room. Okay, I'm going to put on my x-ray specs to see what that something might be. Can't you only put those on so long? So long? Yeah, I've got ten minutes of you it, go blind. and I've, <laughs> used, I've used three minutes already. Uh, what are you trying to see? Like, I'm just trying to see others. Oh, like, like if, you, if you pull above. it, what's yeah? Um, like giant. Does holy blades. water pour down? On <laughs> <laughs> so in the zombie room, you can see that there's like cylinders mm -hmm. pointing down, and then in the werewolf room, you can see that there's like silver spikes pointed down. Okay. Well, uh, detect evil. Well, there's evil everywhere. Oh, there's evil. <laughs> Both evil. of them? Both See, zombies I, are not I would argue evil. that werewolves sometimes Actually, werewolves don't have the choice. Neutral. So werewolves they might be neutral. Diseased. Yeah, werewolves so, are just... Look, it's, just, it's literally uh, the It's the zombie. It's the zombie, yeah, it's the zombie because I literally... Like, literally it says, I have specialness against zombies. Born zombies are like... They don't like me. I don't like them. they mindless. Sure. So at the very least, we're not killing a sentient creature. to kill. It's we could just pull both levers. I mean, no, let's. let's the were, werewolves in general. Could this is what I neutral, want. But... <laughs> you throw the two awful characters into this situation. <laughs> we, theoretically, we would not just be killing two birds with one stone. We'd this be killing exactly an undead bird and a werewolf bird <laughs> with one stone. Uh, I still argue that the werewolf could be. All right, let's kill the zombie deep. and then we'll see what happens. Great. I pull the lever. <laughs> <on the side. laughs> so <laughs> you pull the lever and you're. And like a fireball drops in that room. Oh, I was expecting holy water. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready with mine. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I saw cylinders and I was like, oh, holy water. Uh, I could have refilled. And it eviscerates. Well, yeah. It immolates. There's the word. The, the, <laughs> it's a spiky fireball. The, it's like that scene from gosh. Full Metal Alchemist where Mustang <laughs> like yeah. obliterates the shit out of, out of lust. And, and you hear the voice go, Good choice. Was it? And then the spikes drop on the word. No! <laughs> why? Well, why? Are, I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's still an evil. Why is it dual? <laughs> oh no! And then the door to the right, you hear like a <laughs> <laughs> to the guy who's been trying to stab Zool all day. <laughs> the door to the right, you kind of hear like a <sighs> and it opens up, and you see more stairs. All right. Well, we're probably going to have to deal with neutral things now. Uh, what? <laughs> I was just curious. Does your lock picking and un dungeoneering uh, extend to? He's not that kind of rogue. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't, you, you can't like stop. You, you can't like. I can. I can. <laughs> I am trained enough in the ability of um, sleight of hand that I can actually disable traps. Nah, that's disable what, devices. That, that's what my question was. Sorry, disable device. Whatever the whatever the thing is that I have skill edge, let me check it. Look, because if we walk down here, my parents disable are in one device. of these rooms, I'm, I'm going to go nuts. What? <laughs> parents? Yeah, if this you is know, in my brain. I've, I've not actually asked you. Yeah, Do both, you both, have parents? Yeah, they're both alive and well. <laughs> oh, okay. Unlike all you guys. Wow. I don't know what's up with you guys. Okay, so <laughs> they in, live in Port Nova. My parents are the only ones who are alive. In defense of like other people, my some of them alive. have like other problems. Mine was basically me just fucking killing them because they were terrible people. Good job. And then he became a man of the We have cloth. much to talk about. <laughs> singular claw. Yeah. Singular claw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that the uh the golf line has a golf in it. <laughs> oh, it's from me stabbing him. <laughs> oh my God. I don't laugh at this despite the fact I just laughed at this. This guy's all right. He will survive. All right. All right, let's go downstairs. We go down the stairs. <laughs> uh, so you go down the stairs? I'm upset. <laughs> you guys. Two, dead, two evil things died. I think we'll be okay. I'm upset. Do you guys go down the stairs? Yes, yeah, we, we go down, go down the okay. stairs. Do we, maybe we should try backtracking one of these times. We're just going with it. We haven't actually tried the... I, I walk back to try one of the doors in the back. There's no handle. There's no handle. <laughs> well, that's never stopped me before. No, hold on. I'm super strong. Give me I try to leverage the... Uh, the right leverage. <laughs> yeah. Leverage. Like turn it into one of those cars. It's like a heavy steel door. Oh, okay. So it's just... All right. 
Apparently these weren't wood. We should have checked. <laughs> <laughs> should we go into the basement with a heavy steel door? <laughs> wow. We don't have much else to do. I guess we got to keep going downstairs. All right. Jeez. If you see a doll, <laughs> kill it. <laughs> but also know that it's not the real thing. Can what? Atlas? Can Atlas get? It's a man. Can Atlas get signal on this? <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying this? Better than Batman. Sure. Okay. Stop Atlas is going to prepare uh, sending. <laughs> do, do you it's have long the bell? Telekinesis. Okay. What? Do you have the bell? I do have the bell. Telepathy. Uh, telekinesis is moving things. Hold on. <laughs> I take a step back into the room. Let's slap the bell. Who has the bell? Uh, Volley has the oh bell. Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> Volley appears in this room. <laughs> Where am I right now? You're back. You're, you're back again. Yeah. No. He is uh, in the middle of a, a cloud, like a like a foggy area, and he's on. Did you have a horse? Or were you in the carriage? Uh, I would have been. I would have been riding my uh, phantom uh, horse. Yeah. Your concentration doesn't go away, or no, it's okay. Not. So you're on, you're on uh, Volley's horse. I look around. And hey, did anybody? The whole everybody's the horse you. immediately boots you off. By the way, <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> wait, do you guys have like a carriage driver? Uh no. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, so so the carriage like... driver, the, the caravan has stopped. Yeah. And he's like, oh, we were looking for you. We, we figured you took the wrong turn when the fog rolled in. No, we got teleported somewhere. I should go back because Volley's going to get... Volley's going to get... I take the belt off and I go... <laughs> <laughs> tap it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Fuck. I tap the belt. Hold on. Now it's not even working. Well, it's not working. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I use... So you're standing in hey, a room. I'm thinking. You're standing. Atlas. What is happening? Uh, can uh, you see? Can you? Uh, we're in a building. Hey, yeah. You can't what, get out. You've been watching me, motherfucker. I cast. Can you I cast unseen so servant and put the belt servant. on it. Does that work? <laughs> I cast unseen. <laughs> ser- can you teleport me out of here? Hey, I cast unseen servant and put the belt on it. The creeps. <laughs> what? I cast unseen servant and put the belt on it. Nothing happens. It should be able to work. It's a person. It's not a no, it's not a person. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you, just feet and hands. Philosophical zombie. <laughs> Have you seen... Uh, can you send a message over to Volley? <laughs> Old man. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can, you send, <laughs> can you send a message to Volley? You guys are, like, connected. Yeah, I'll send him, I'll, I'll send him one. Tell him to put the belt back on. I put the belt back on. Because, like, every time I hit this, I tap it. <laughs> Shit! Well, actually, no, I'm fine with this. Hey, Victus. We might have some backup, just in case. Um, That's nice. If you feel like you're about to die, put this belt. And the message arrives. <laughs> hey, Volley, put the belt back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, at least I know there's a bit of delay on that. We need to keep going. I Unless feel like my will is about to be crushed. Atlas, can you hear me? Atlas Are you also. watching us? Okay. I can. I take off the belt. Okay. And I put it in my pocket. Okay. And we continue. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were giving him the belt. No, it's like a backup. So you can you continue? Yeah. Oh. It's a. It's if a anyone else thing. comes in here, there, it might be harder. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you walk down. Back. Yep. We walk down. Into another room. Mm-hmm. I'm and gonna find this similar person. Similar to the first room. <laughs> and Except them. there's not levers this time. There's oh. just a knob. I know what I'm gonna do. Pull the knob off. I just have an idea in the back of my head. I'm not gonna say it out loud. What there's are we still seeing? shutters on this one. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. What was that? Can you teleport? <laughs> <laughs> what oh. the fuck was that? <laughs> <clears throat> um. I'm resigned and the voice says brain. again, you must choose. All this right. time the shutters don't go up. <coughs> Put on my x-ray specs? <laughs> what do I see inside the rooms? Okay. So, two skeletons. What you see looks like two humans in the room. Mm-hmm. Can I identify anything about them? One of them is bald. Okay. Looks kind of old. 
And the other one? The other one is a young woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this. Looks kind of ragged. This is like age versus youth question. I take off the specs. So, by the fact that I was able to, you know, teleport, um, this guy doesn't really have that much lock on this test. Okay. Um, So I'm going to... (laughs) We're going to fucking not... Pull these levers, and we're gonna save these people. The, it's pro- they're both probably gonna go down, but I was gonna say I can't choose because I'll fall. So I like that option. I'll take that option. All right. I'm I'd gonna... rather try to save them and be <clears throat> failure because of you know I I not because of my own actions. I'm gonna do a perception check to see if I can uh, see anything in the room <coughs> that looks loose or out of place. And what, what's the shutter material? Yeah, one of the shutters made clear out of clear see-through, made out of glass. Well, I'm it's not see-through because he oh. he uses things. Um. Well, I didn't know if that when they opened it was like glass. Yeah, or it was like glass-ish. Um. The the, the shutters are like metal. Mm-hmm. Okay. A metal. What type of metal does it look like? Just regular old iron. Iron or steel. I climb up to the top of the shutter and I pull out my knife, my adamantine knife, and just start slashing at the uh, top things that hold the shutter. So it's like a mesh glass and then the shutter's behind it. Yeah. So I'm cutting through that. Okay, so you gotta get through the mesh glass. Okay. And then the metal shutter behind it. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do you think... I have an adamantine (laughs) knife. (laughs) This thing's real fucking tough. (laughs) Okay. So you start doing that. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going to be the most advantage. Um, I I think maybe my axe or my sword. I've got my lance or my spear. I take my knife out. This isn't getting me anywhere. Oh yeah, I'm just letting her do her thing. Oh, this was actually a question to Victus. I said, um, I've got a javelin, a spear, a lance, but I also have like a throwing axe. Okay, so you start. He starts saying that to you Mm -hmm. as you climb up on the window and you start doing shit, Mm -hmm. and then the voice. You hear the voice. There are no third options. And you hear a heavy, like, I knew that was behind the glass. I put on my x-ray specs. There are two dead bodies behind the glass. Brutally eviscerated. All right. <laughs> and a door opens up. <laughs> that one didn't work out so well for us. I knew it happened, though. However, we did not do that. Nope. So we just need to find this guy. All right, we need to be smarter. And kill him. What's the bystander thing about it? Oh. Well, we tried to do something about it. Like, if you can't help and you don't help. (laughs) We tried to help. It's the trolley problem. (laughs) We tried to help. So this time, the trolley is a giant metal spike. (laughs) This is... This is a trolley is going to crash, and instead of shoving a fat man, you could also shove something in front to stop the trolley, and it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. No, you tried to help. It's so they, they died. But, use yeah. your X-ray specs um, whenever you do use them to also glance around the walls to see if he's somewhere. Actually, that's a good point. I put on the specs and look around everywhere. Can I see like openings or you just see like intricate engineering? Nothing. <laughs> Are you at seven minutes at this point? What? Six. Uh, this was like yeah. yeah this is my three, sixth time putting it on. Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, it's, it's just, just like awesome. engineering and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I pull out the belt. And I put it on. Nice pop. Tap it. Volley pops in. Atlas, what the fuck? Can you track scrying? <laughs> Whether or not track somebody it? is being scried. Can you cast a spell that stops being scried? Oh, yeah. Could you cast that on me? Uh, I need someone to crush this diamond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did um, somebody say muscles? <laughs> yeah, here we go, Havoc. Why don't you try crushing this diamond? How oh, much fuck? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. We have a we have a man. Oh, hang on. I have to... a true crystalline uh, falchion that ignores hardness. Oh, I could use that. For what? I don't know how you would know that I could use that, but... Don't break the crystals. Could I just borrow the fashion? No. It's mine. It's to save lives. <laughs> I'll give it back. Do I'll, I know them? I'll let you borrow this knife. All right. I'm going to make sure it doesn't touch my very nice sword. Well, you have not noticed... This is metagaming. I did not give you my <laughs> special <laughs> knife. I just gave you a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's a okay. I like that better. Okay. Um, so you're standing next to Volley in the Whiskers, room. Whiskers, what the hell? And that you know there's... Well, I don't know. You never said anything. Did you tell him that there was eviscerated bodies behind the wall now? I think it was implied. Okay. So you're just like... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got bad news. <laughs> so I tap, my, I tap my belt again. And Volley pops back. And, and I reappear back into the... with a falchion. 
Okay. Like, I pulled something out of my bag as well. This could be useful. Okay. Cuts his pants. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. Do you have some training in... No. I'll take a minus four, but yeah. I can cut... Oh, do you know what? Yeah, you take, yeah, take I can. So what did you take out? Uh, um, I don't want to tell you because I'm going to try to outsmart you. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take out? A magnet. Okay. A magnet? Yeah, because if any of these gears like the are magnetized... Magnet? No, it uh, it's straight up magnet. Unless it's a like a super powerful like, magnet, like a little it's magnet. Not stop. It. <laughs> it's <laughs> like trying to turn off a refrigerator when there's like a refrigerator <laughs> magnet. Like if you put it up next to a gear, it won't stop the gear. It'll just move with the gear. The, the amount of gold I spent on this thing, I, thought, I think it would be a bit more. It would be a, a floppy drive. Cool <laughs> yeah, if you want to defrag a floppy drive. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> right, I hold the fashion. It'll I'm be trying. useful. You know what? If you want to, if you want to try the magnet as well, we could do that. Let's go down. Can I wait? Can I dual wield? I don't have that ability. Can I? If, if you want to take a can, minus, you can, but you're six. gonna take a minus ten penalty ten. on right. your offhand and a minus like five penalty. on I will your... just hold the. Foul. It's also a two-handed weapon, so you can't. All right, <coughs> both hands dual on wield it. With it anyway. All right, let's go downstairs. I don't like this, Victus. Like so you go down the last set of stairs. Yep. Okay, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> <laughs> Got the plot point and I haven't felt this way in years. <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> ah, I know nothing about those two souls that I've just lost. Specifically last night. With Taza? Mm. Mm. More often than his religion allows, he feels. Is that way. what I hear, hear from the guy on the speaker? What? With Taza. With Taza. <laughs> no. no. How did you know that? <laughs> I've been watching you. <laughs> this is clearly real since we go back and forth with. Yes, we're not in a dream. We're in some sort of <laughs> fucked up nightmare. <laughs> well, met, like metaphorical nightmare. No. Yeah, my mother surely is a dream. <laughs> yeah. And I, there was no evil from either of those people. Did you? Detect? You didn't detect evil on them. Oh, I said when I entered the room. I'm so sorry. You can well, also you need light of sight to a thing. Oh, I, I can, okay. you couldn't see him. He just implied that. Okay. Yeah. So I have no way of knowing. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, if I wear the specs, do I get the full amount of time as well? I, I think would. it's for yeah. every person okay. they, they stack it. So when you run out, let me know. I'll, I'll be your eyes. Yeah. I could just start losing con, but let's not push it. Okay. So you guys go down. Okay. This the is hell. <laughs> what do we see? So in this room, there's just a pedestal okay. with like a button on it oh okay. okay and then there's one big kind of window shutter thing we basically already have a million credits this isn't like a question <laughs> is this the button the button that kills somebody close to us if we press it but we get a million credits <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> no. I don't know what that is. Okay. is that a saw reference uh, no, it's, a, it's, it's another thing movie. it's a movie I think yeah. well he doesn't know it so it's not that okay what do you see I see a button with a pedestal <laughs> I'm putting, I'm putting on the uh, Do I see anything? So crazy. on the other side, you see just like a group of children. Are they orphans? orphans? They kind of. And you have no idea. They okay. look like they don't have. Parents. They they look malnourished and kind of like shabby clothes, and you imagine they were once part of the town. Okay, I walk up to. Uh, Is he going to tell us what the button does? I walk up to you, and I, using, uh, bluff, I try to silently communicate with you. Okay. I do it very Natural well. 20. <laughs> I speak sign language, apparently. Uh, and I basically communicate to you, there's a shit ton of children in the other room. I'm going to cast invisibility on you, and you're going to go through that wall and save them. What wall? Kill them. Kill them. What? The glass? I, yeah, the glass. This is how I die. Okay. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Can I communicate? So with? you guys are talking, and the guy says, "You must choose." What are we choosing? Them or you? Uh, and the door uh, closes again behind you. So, so we this got, one's not actually too hard. This one's not too hard. We get through to them, or we die. Like the stabs Whistler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which button is which? Plot twist. There's only one button. There's only one button. If we press that, do they die? 
Is that the implication here? Or do if we press the button, we die? Yeah, either you do nothing or you press the button. Yeah, but that doesn't... You start here. Answer the question. I want to know what the button does. Does the button crush us or does it crush the kids? I'm sure it crushes us because it's one of those twisted games. I cut. <laughs> so I'm I cast, invisible. I cast vanish. Okay, she vanishes. He! Uh, he you. vanishes. Uh, the sides of the walls near you mm-hmm. kind of like <clears throat> rise up. Interesting. And there's like, they're like barred. And behind them you can see like huh? monsters on your side. Okay. And oh, you like kind of hear rumbling on the other side, so you imagine the same thing's happening on that side. All right. Oh, so the monsters are going to be released. Okay. We can handle that. So we can't we can't break the wall in the middle. You imagine, Victus, that if you started fucking with it, it would just release them like yeah. it did last time. How about this? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I haven't learned their lesson yet. Yep. We're, we're going to pick us, <clears throat> do your belt... Go back, switch belts with Atlas, have him come here, teleport me out. After we've been chosen. I mean, we probably should have done that in the first place. But. <laughs> you follow? Yeah, yeah. all right. Are Sign language. <laughs> I wanted to see where this went. You're invisible. Right. You can't confirm. <laughs> sign so she just straight, he just straight up like says it. Yeah. <laughs> we whispers it to me. Okay. I tap my belt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I put my belt around Atlas. Yeah, <laughs> I tap it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab onto you. I'm gonna. You feel your magic is known. Oh <laughs> damn! Uh, you okay. feel weak and flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> Whistler, you're not doing it for me. <laughs> you, just, you just gotta let go, man. I let go. You just gotta let go. <laughs> Click. <laughs> I reappear. What happened? No, I reappear. No magic. No magic. No magic. <laughs> Strong stomach. All right. Click. I got that. Thank you. What? I said Weird reference. Thing. No magic. Strong stomach. Oh. We okay. might need to. No All magic. All right. Press the button. Oh, God. We don't know. Well, I'm going to do a now. quick knowledge dungeoneering. What kind of monsters are these? Is he lying to us? <clears throat> yeah. What kind of monsters are these? What am I looking at? Uh, I will prepare myself. That's a that's a ten, eleven. <laughs> okay, so you can see, kind of, it's it's a deep hole. Mm-hmm. Um, up at the front, you can see like some zombies milling about, and okay. then as it goes back, it gets kind of darker. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh, you zombies. hear more like you know, yeah. flies <laughs> and shit. So you assume they may be other things in the back, um, and then in the far back, you can actually kind of make up a faint. Behind like a third, fourth row of bars, you can make out the faint glow of like a torch in a door. Okay. Behind the monsters? Apparently, this magic effect doesn't hurt me, so we've got 30 seconds to try to get to that torch. Okay. Three. Can we get through the magic bars? effect? Two. We can fly. Hit the button. <laughs> you hit the button? Yeah. The children die. Stop the it. children die. What? I... Then you hear the. <laughs> open up and the monsters come oh, out and you hear the okay. kids get the moment, up. No, hold on. <laughs> the moment the thing opens and then I and grab the the, uh, the magnet <laughs> no the falchion and hack through the uh, the separator okay make us under check yeah so as you start doing this you, you hear from your side like a <laughs> and you see all the monsters getting destroyed on your side oh okay that's interesting that's tr- yeah um all right, can we get to the kids' side? What is section? the Sunder check? CMB. CMB? Okay. I I have a nine. What's the... How effective is the falchion? What did you use the so falchion? The falchion ignores hardness, so there's no DR of stone that this will... Oh. That, that, so it takes full damage and deals an extra D6 uh, on Sunder checks of, of damage to the... Whistler, break it. I do have... Can I get through? Yeah, I imagine you okay. guys can okay. break it. Um, now, I have a question. When we could see the kids, were there and bars? it makes a pleasant ringing sound as it cuts through. Ooh. Above the <laughs> murder. <laughs> the kids get murdered. So, uh, could, could we see through the bars to their monsters if I shot something through the bars? Like, would I be able to get Line to the kids' monsters? Magic show, yeah. Okay, and then I do fire belly on them before, before we hit the button. Because I know that's what... You prepared it? Yeah. Okay. That's my, I didn't my, know. 
I, it was a 50-50 shot, and I, it's always okay. the wrong one. Whatever action it is, it's always wrong. Uh, so that's 1d4, <clears throat> 15-foot cone hitting those monsters. Yeah, so you, you kind of like babies. just destroy a line of zombies. Um, can you channel positive energy? Um, I can holy smite once I get over there. Well, I imagine most of these kids are not neutral. Yep. What do you mean? I mean, What's you can it? check. I don't know. Channel uh, positive energy doesn't hurt things other okay. than undead. And these are all specifically undead. Yeah, there's the a kids are the undead. The undead. Are the right. undead are clearly <laughs> undead. <laughs> so, yep. I'm gonna do an area heal. Can I heal any of the kids and kill any of the monsters? Okay, five d six. This is hurting my soul. <clears throat> Nineteen for heal for healing the kids and it hurts the enemies. Yeah, so the the first thing out of the cage was the zombies and you killed them. Great. So nothing had really gotten to the kids and Fabulous. they were all kind of like huddled in the corner, but they look like they get some renewed vigor. That's good. Um, and it looks like any a couple of zombies right close to them and they die. Cut through the cage. Cut through the cage. <laughs> <laughs> look, these are like all my. Can, can I do it? It, do I do, do I have to do initiative or can I just go you can again? Get through the cage, yeah. All right, I can get, all right, we get through the cage and I do channel the energy again. How many I times? I dive through it? the opening. Okay. On the other side, you see and you can see this too. There's basically Great. just like ten zombies left. Oh, okay. I blast them. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So the zombies are all dead. <sighs> zombies are all dead. Is there anything else? Oh. Just had, it was just kids. Just vampire kids. <laughs> okay, detect evil on the kids. They're kids. Fantastic. <laughs> that wasn't an answer. They're aligned as <laughs> children, which is its own alignment. <laughs> Victus just starts murdering them. <laughs> Demon baby! <laughs> Even the Antichrist is evil. Alright, so is there a torch at the other end in this one as um, well? Or do we take them out through Neutral our hole? Neutral wouldn't trigger evil, right? No. No. Okay. And there's nothing, no other enemies inside of this place? Nope, none that you can see. And your side got crushed out. Yeah. Um, and the, the voice kind of comes out, and it's like, you saved the werewolf babies. Interesting. That's fine. Okay. Um, they're kids. <laughs> and so you hear the, the door unlatch from your side. <clears throat> This uh, test kind of sucked. <laughs> like, we did it. <laughs> What's the point of this? You don't even know us. Yeah, you didn't even tell us they were werewolf babies. They are now. <laughs> they are now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess we're going to leave now. Where are you? I'm taking the kids with you? <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, God, now we just got a bunch of orphan children. God damn it. <laughs> Where are you, nameless voice? And also, who are you? <clears throat> well, we'll be told through the door. <laughs> All right, it's Willy Wonka. It's Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a bunch of Oompa Loompas. <clears throat> Come I... with me, and oh, you'll see. There's no earthly way of knowing <laughs> which way this river is flowing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we make our way. <laughs> We make our way towards the doorway with the kids, beckoning them. We lead. They follow. So you go through the last door and it opens up into like a library. I distribute rations to them. <laughs> it's mostly salty fish. <laughs> it's mostly <laughs> salty fish. Salted fish. They devour <laughs> a, little, a little bit of calamari. I'm not sure if they like that. It's a bit rumpery. Um, it's a library. We're in a library. Yeah, like a library, like science looking room. Mm. And there's like a there's like a big glass window. Think about Resident Evil 5. It's yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker! <laughs> and there's a chair like pointed out the window. Is there a boulder for me to punch? And there's like a dude sitting in the chair. Mm-hmm. Kind of frail. Old looking. Is he looking It's that old us? guy! <laughs> it's the old guy with no eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, detect evil on the old guy. He's evil! <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, so I walk up to the glass. The, no, no, no. Like glass, oh. like a, just, a, just like a bay window. 
Oh. Like a big window. Like, and he's just You know that there. scene from Resident Evil 5? Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah, I get <laughs> Literally. I thought he was that. watching us through like a glass pane. No, no, he's just looking at him. Okay. Who are you? Didn't come up with a name. <laughs> I am Baron... Von Trapp. Van Tablewood. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die, Baron Von Tablewood. <laughs> Baron Von Tablewood, were those people real? Of course. The two people? Two people. I roll for my attack? Wait, the two people in the, in the cage? Yes. Yeah, they're dead. I know. Were they real people? Of course. Okay. They were from the town. I throw my knife. Okay. I throw my holy javelin okay. at his chest. That is a... It uh, just hits. <laughs> It just <laughs> it explodes. I'm mad. That is a 31 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Um, so since that knife was hidden, he just takes 40 damage. Plus. <laughs> he explodes. Uh, nine. So okay. 49 damage. And what did you do? Six damage. <laughs> yeah, but that one just hit. I throw my it dagger and it does him. 49 damage. I shoot my holy lightning for six damage. Guys, I'm not This was like the holy lightning like hit him, kind of clipped him in the arm. And this knife was like right there. Holy the javelin. I don't know where you're getting lightning, guys. Holy javelin. Holy still javelin. not any better. It's kind of the same. I got him in the eye. Uh, Isn't holy javelin like something where it's like, no, it's holy trident. Um. Yeah, I'm so. Is mad he alive? <laughs> he, he he's kind of like staggering. Did you throw your returning knife? Yeah. Okay. So he's just like fucking bleeding. All right. So I put the status ailment of. Uh... So he's like he was like in a chair and he's like up out of the chair and he's like fucking bewildered <laughs> onto him. So he is now minus four AC for uh, Whistler and a minus two four AC for me. And then, I... Is it my turn now? Sure. Cool. I'm going to throw four knives at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... No. I'm going to first... Is it a free action to... To what? The scarf. The scarf? Yeah. I think it's like a swift action. <clears throat> okay. So, I scarf. <laughs> he, like, he has it in his pocket, like... <laughs> <laughs> It's just ribbon dancing with it. It's not actually mirror image, it's just a ribbon dance. The scarf is just like around my neck, and so now there are two people. <laughs> it's like you're just wearing it, and you're just like, yeah. Scarf, activate! <laughs> <laughs> I throw four knives at him. Mask! Sorry. So the duplicates ben. in mirror image mimic you in every single way. So, so they also actually like throw. Each of these is throwing daggers. I was considering having him double sneak attack damage when he uses it to flank, That's but I realized much. that would just That's that would just kill the game. things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, is so he above us? Can I get up? To I him? changed that bit right during him. that. He's in front uh, of me. Oh, uh, so I could like just orcs. move forward. Yeah, you want Excellent. Oh, 80 damage. So these are right hand attacks. I have a lot of damage. feelings right now. <laughs> if you don't kill him first, we'll see. Wow, they were. <laughs> Two 14s and two 9s on the two things that were on the exact same weapon. That's fucking weird. Um, does a 26 yes. hit? Yeah. Does a 21 hit? No. Oh. Even with the minus 4 AC? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, does Welcome. a... 21 hit with the minus 4 AC. Isn't that what you just did? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's the lowest one, so all of them hit. No, because this one's actually lower, and that is an 18. 16. <laughs> no. Okay, so one of them doesn't hit. Um, we'll do the <laughs> dice for the first one. <laughs> is he dead? No. I kind of want answers. Can we get him to an inch of his life? Uh, we might not have much of an option because either he survives this and how close are you to this guy? He's just throwing knives at him. Yeah, and these don't count as sneak attacks because you don't have the feet that lets you flank with ranged weapons. Really? He's using the scarf, isn't this? Mm. That's his, but he's not those. Him and his his uh, minions aren't 
threatening. Oh. So I'm just throwing knives at this guy. Yeah. All right. Well, they still hit. There is a feat you can get that lets you do that. Oh man, I'll have to take a look at that feat. <laughs> so much more depressing. <laughs> just a couple of deep words. <laughs> Either this guy's dead or he survives. <laughs> like hits him with the help. Oh! <laughs> you want him to die? Just double tap the bell. I'll throw a fireball. At him. Uh, so that is a. They want answers about that. That is a. I don't know. I think he went for twelve kills. plus a. What is what is six times three? Eighteen. Uh, what is two times three? Six. six. Eighteen plus six. Twenty-four. Twenty-four plus. 4, 28, plus 2, 30, 30 plus 3, 33. Okay. So, 33 so, damage. So, like, the daggers hit him. 3? Yeah. Three. 3. 3. So, 3 hit him. One, like, flies past him and hits the window. Kind of cracks it a little bit. And he, like, falls back and he, he hits the glass. And he's still alive, but you can see, like, blood trickling down. And he's, like, mumbling to himself. Get him, Whistler. Okay. And if he doesn't say anything, dramatically throw him through the glass window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do like in in every movie ever, they like grab him by the neck and they have the weapon ready. Yeah. Um, and uh, you were supposed to bring balance to the force. <laughs> How could you, Anna? You are my brother. So, um, long story short, is he doing this because he's dying of an illness? <laughs> because he wants to get people to repent for their sins, or what? Uh, tell me why. Why? Uh, basically, what he gets out is that he he was doing research with monsters and 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 choices of man and um their view on the monsters of the world, and he's just doing research. Um, and it cost the town because he kept on stealing people from the town. And You're mad. He's kind of an evil, crazy guy, and you so. shouldn't. Uh... <laughs> This guy's really not very lives. flushed out. He's just evil. Yeah. He's just evil. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smite evil. He's the best. <laughs> All right. Works. Yeah, and I'm gonna use my mammoth lance and just run him through. Two handed. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna put him down. <laughs> so you like put him down. Take take a five foot step back. It's a reach weapon. And, just, and then just just before lance. Whistler does this, he whispers, "Love <laughs> 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 Well, pr- pretty much, he knows he's in fault because I ain't gonna fall for this fool. Okay. Uh, did you hit him? <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, okay, yeah. 24. Probably hits. Yeah, because you yeah. have the minus 2 AC now. 24? It hits. Okay. And my second attack? Because I get to do this twice. Jesus. 15, 20. Oh, that's the You're smiting evil, so you add your charisma modifier. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, the first one probably kills me. Yeah, and this one is 23 <laughs> plus the my first charisma. One probably kills me. Okay. Well, all right, here we go. <laughs> This is like six damage again. All right, plus five is seven, and plus then 10 plus you're ten, seventeen. Yep. So so whistle like pulls back, and he fucking do not play with people's <laughs> lives. Lances this guy out the window. Yeah. And, then, and this guy he's he's now impaled on the lance, hanging out the window, and he's kind of like. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> pull the lance back, let him fall. <laughs> Wait, I turn around. Did the ki- kids see all this? <laughs> Every bit. <laughs> Shit. Wait, a switch with uh, Atlas. That's way more than like memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, uh, I think we need a therapist. Yeah, now. we got bad news on that one. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> yeah, we need a doctor, not Atlas. <laughs> How did that make you feel? <laughs> no, no. I don't know. Like, fix the kids. You just ask them. <laughs> Well, when he stabbed him through the chest, I felt kind of good about that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, kids, Focus let's go bus. home. Where's home? How do we get out of here? Well, their parents got crushed in their previous room. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was on you. <laughs> we have a window. What do we see out the window? A dead body. Like a, like a cliff. <laughs> and a dead body at the bottom of it. All right, do we see any doors in this room? Mm-hmm. Just a door back. We can't go back and you see like oh, you see like an upstairs area and there was like a bed and stuff. Looks oh. like this guy had just been living in here. The, the area where he was sitting, is there any There's like books and stuff, notes. How is he controlling this? It can't all be automated. Maybe I try to look for any like doorway out. 
That isn't just. Does there not appear to be any? There's a, yeah. There's like one kind of hidden in the bookshelf. Okay. Uh, what what are these books mostly about? <laughs> monsters and philosophy. Philosophy, monsters, no, alchemy. No, everyone hates philosophy. Everybody hates philosophy. Everybody hates philosophy. philosophy. <laughs> Engineering. Oh, okay. architecture. Oh, alchemy Any books. books. Alchemy books. <laughs> monsters for dummies. Monster manual. Okay. <laughs> Spell so, books. So I'm. Plus I'm, two CR. What does that mean? So I'm. I'm going to open up my my bag of holding. And I'm gonna shove in any book on monsters that are like are like mountainy, monstery things. First, these children witness the paladin. <laughs> now you're just raiding now this. Now they witness him stealing. <laughs> Remember, kids, it's fine if they're evil. <laughs> I did not mean for any of this. Um, <laughs> Remember, kids, it's only stealing if they're How not. How to break a paladin? <laughs> if they're not alive, you can't steal from them. <laughs> Trying. Technically not theft if they've broken the law. Uh, <laughs> this kids, this is, is what we call civil forfeiture. It's confiscation, not stealing. Yeah, and under the codes evidence. of the Constitution, it's legal. <laughs> hey, Molly, give me that belt. Yeah, I have. Why it. not? Right, let's go have that belt. Yeah. Quick. How would you, hey, he know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. He just took a whim. He's metagaming. <laughs> I, I was asleep. I didn't. <laughs> Bullshit, you just went, alchemy books? Alchemy <laughs> books? <laughs> I throw the alchemy books out the window. <laughs> you, you you pop into existence and you watch Whisker throw some books out the Whistler! window. And the title says, how to make dangerous drugs safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tap the belt. How you could have saved the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no. 101 ways to stop the tree in anguish from being evil. Yeah, you see, like, the red blue, the red pill, the blue pill, and how to make them sterile. <laughs> Number 95 would blow your mind. Another book, one one of the books that goes flying out, how to cure lycanthropy. <laughs> uh, so lycanthropy. Are there any the books AIDS of, of this of world? Use for us in here, in all seriousness, if I do a, a perception check? Yeah, you can find some good ones. You find some on Monsters of uh, the... You do the perception. That's a, um, I a tap state. the belt. <laughs> okay. Oh. You come back, yeah. Some bullshit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I got a 30. Yeah, so you find books on two. Monsters of the North. Kind of oh. like just like a book on monsters of reference, the North. maybe. What you may encounter. You find um, a couple of kind of old, dusty spell books. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and you find um, a book on lycanthropy. Mm hmm. A book on necromancy. Oh. And um, an engineering book. I might want to throw this necromancy book out the window, but you know what? I'm not the one who makes that decision. Yeah, Andy Paladin might want it. I and mean, a couple of books on alchemy are still kind of hanging <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, Andy Paladin. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> kind of, but a couple of uh, alchemy books are still in your room. Okay, I grab. <sighs> Let's try to figure out how to get out of here. I try the bookcase door. It opens up. Um, there's like a spiral staircase going up, down. Wait, where, where is it going? It's going up or down? It's going going down. somewhere. Okay, down. Oh gosh! All right. Uh, I follow start us, kids. Making my way down the. Uh, you can scry in them now, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's like shit. Buy Elmer's toothpaste. He's got an ad. You should have gotten the one thousand gold piece one instead of the nine hundred. So, so you go down the stairs and you come to a door and you open it up and you kind of come out to like a landing built into the cliff <laughs> and there's like a stone staircase kind of going up the side. You're going up the cliff. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, kids, stick to the side. <laughs> yeah. Everybody but, uh, hold hands. Wait, I got an idea. I have rope. He kills so the I. kids. So I tie the rope. <laughs> we tie the rope around each kid's waist. Hey, Atlas. Click. And lead them up. And, and tie it to each of us? Yeah. Okay. You <clears throat> One leads, one follows? Sure. Okay. I'll follow. Okay, I lead. <laughs> so you guys make it up the cliff with the kids. How many kids are there? <clears throat> My heart hurts. <laughs> It's a lot of 
What do no you do? No kids fall. Cool. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> How many kids are there? Kids. Five kids, thank you. Huh? This wasn't that hard of a walk. No. But it's wet. <laughs> Rainy. They're all kind They're of They're light. I can handle... Wait, I, actually, you're weak. Which is not the same, not yeah. showing that many orphans. <laughs> it's the reason why you're at the front. <laughs> all right. Do we make our way? Yeah, so you get up and... Uh, as you get up to the top, the, the fog has dissipated. To your right, you can see the building, and you can kind of now see how it's like built into the Cape Mountains, mm -hmm. or the, the cliff side. And then behind it, you see the burnt-out village. Kind of looks like this guy's been doing this shit here for a while. Yeah. They have culminated. Uh, and you see a, the road kind of goes back, and you can kind of see how it goes. It connects to the main road. <sighs> well. And your horses are in the front. I guess we got to... Get these kids back. Well, we have a book on curing... Lycanthropy? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wear babies. So, maybe that'll help. It, could what help. it was a book What's on lycanthropy. It wasn't specifically about curing lycanthropy. Well, we might be able to figure out We might find something. It's literally going to be the exact same thing. That we How to cure about. lycanthropy. You kill them. Okay, um, are these are these kids... Super <laughs> <Super -dagger laughs> <to the heart. laughs> Can these kids... The nightmare isn't they... over. <laughs> Uh, are they contagious? If they turn and they bite someone, probably. Is that how it works? Uh, yeah. And right. of course. Werewolves <laughs> don't have sex with these kids. <laughs> so, so, yeah, put my foot they, down on that one. <laughs> so on the on the, the next full moon, you're going to have five little werewolf babies and one big werewolf baby <laughs> in, your, All right. in your camp. We can handle it. <laughs> I bring children. All right, so I'm going to talk. And you're going to make the rest of the group them. appreciate Werewolf babies. Hey Atlas, can't you teleport them away? I think there's a light. It's not that far to walk. <laughs> They're just down the road. I can see them. Just right down the road. road. <laughs> <laughs> they appear to have <clears throat> children. Yeah. So you guys, you you see them like coming up the road, and they got like a. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> They're still on the road. <laughs> yeah. so, I'm not gonna lie. They use. They appear a road. to have enslaved some children. <laughs> <laughs> they, you kill me. Alright, so in the schools that I teach at, there's a rope with knots on it, and the kids hold the knot. So we could transition to that. Sure. Yeah. Right. So, since I'm a paladin, I'm immune to lycanthropy, like, aren't I? Yeah, uh, same. I, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's magical diseases. Do you want to read it? Paladins are immune. You are... Cool. <laughs> so you can watch it. I can watch all of <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, you can gnaw on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I give Damn them all a shit toy. All right, we bring them back. Off. How, how, how are we um, accepted back is, into the group? This is not group. a group. Hey, hey kids, want to see a dead body? <laughs> they already Where have. is Alan? <laughs> All right, so I'd like Seems to like the kids, kids are kind of shell shocked. Lot. They don't really say much. They right. watched. They did. They went through kind of a trauma, and hey, then they got saved. And then they watched another trauma. <laughs> yeah, we might want to. We might want to find a town to get these kids into a safe spot. Me a cleric of here. Trust me, they'll get over it. Did you say Meets something back about on the menu. Them being werewolves? <laughs> yeah, well... Maybe we shouldn't bring them to a town? We were also told this by, like, a crazed man, so... They're, they're also werewolves? It's possible he might be lying. <laughs> Why don't you ask that magic device you have if they're gonna make it? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Are they werewolves? <laughs> gonna roll. <laughs> Obviously we know they're werewolves. Uh, Eleven. In my experience, the cure for trauma is more and worse trauma. Probably shouldn't take advice from him. <laughs> but we're going to keep Havoc away from them. As I see it, yes. <laughs> yeah, we probably shouldn't bring them to a town. <laughs> I don't trust your magic black ball. We got to heal me of uh, yeah, we, werewolf. We've already got reason. a quest to, we, we to can heal them like too. Here's a knife. Two birds Try one stabbing yeah. them. Hey. <laughs> that could kill me. Wolf birds happen to be lycanthropes. Find out if we're going to lose anybody because of these fucking... <laughs> well, well, Will we, we kill another town? Kill <laughs> Are we approaching the next town to kill them by werewolves? <laughs> Without a town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my. Uh, does the book uh, about lycanthropy talk at all about cures? You gotta read it. <laughs> Is it in common? Yes, you're like, you're like, yeah, of course. I'm good at speed reading. Yeah? I have a high linguistics. Okay, well, you guys spend like a day or two reading the book. Right? I'm going to spend a day yeah, or two yeah. reading it. Kind we got time to the full moon. While we're on the road. We're on the road again. It goes over all 
now published cures for lycanthropy. Mm-hmm. It is one in the morning. Produced it's by Paizo. <laughs> what have we done? It's, yeah. yeah. What have we done? Yeah, how, who said that this was going to take a short amount of time? I said, depending on. Oh, that was me. Was it you? It was me. Yeah, bastard. Listen, <laughs> I said it came down me. to how long everyone took, and that might take that long. In either case, the decision about what will happen to these children will be made upon the long road north. Thank you for joining us on this Odyssey. Cool. I need to go to bed.